YouTube has finally announced that they're gonna allow us to add custom thumbnails to our YouTube Shorts, even if we don't have an Android. Well, kind of. In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how you could begin adding a custom thumbnail to all of your YouTube Shorts, who this is going to work best for, and I'm gonna share with you best practices because I see so many small channels messing this up and quite frankly, wasting a lot of time on it, and it's one of the reasons that they're not getting a lot of views and they're not getting more subscribers. In fact, I just helped this creator implement this feature and they gained over a million views on this video because of it. And I helped this creator do it and they gained over 500,000 views and guess what? These people have nowhere near that many subscribers. So if you begin implementing this on your channel, it's gonna lead to one, an increase in views, and two, an increase in followers. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, the YouTube Shorts algorithm just changed. So please, go to the link in the pinned comment below, get into my free YouTube growth course. It's gonna share with you the latest YouTube Shorts algorithm so that you know all the things you need to be doing right. First and foremost, we need to cover who this is actually good for because it's not good for everybody. If all of your views come from the shorts feed, this probably isn't going to be that useful for you, or it might be incredibly useful for you. So if you get your views from browse features, from suggested videos, or from people searching for content when it comes to shorts, this is going to be essential for you. And if you don't get views from that, well, then you need to ask yourself why you're not getting views. Are people just not searching for what you're uploading? Does it not get served on the homepage? Or maybe the reason you're not getting views from there, and this could double the amount of views that you're getting, is simply because your thumbnails have been trash because you haven't been able to change them, and as a result, YouTube doesn't even bother serving your content in those locations. Well, this is exactly why adding a custom thumbnail is going to completely change the game for small channels because one, it's gonna allow you guys to better rank for search because if you can add a better thumbnail, well then guess what happens? More people are gonna click on your content. If more people click on your content, then YouTube serves your content to more people and they serve it across more places. For example, if I look at my shorts content, I actually get the majority of views from search and from browse features. It doesn't surprise me because that's where I get most of my views from no matter what kind of content I upload because that's the type of content that I upload to YouTube. I upload things that are searchable. That's why my content doesn't go viral immediately, but if you come back a year from now, I bet a lot of my videos have over 100,000 views because so many people in that time have actually searched for that content. And this is going to allow you to do the same exact thing. By the way, it's a lot more lucrative. Just trying to show up on the shorts feed every single time, sure, it might work for a little bit, but you're really gonna get a lot more views once you begin customizing those thumbnails. So the way that you actually customize a thumbnail now, what you're going to do when you're uploading your video from your mobile device, and I know a few videos back, I told you not to upload from a mobile device, but that was kind of a joke and a play on words because you should be uploading from a mobile device, but you shouldn't be publishing from a mobile device. So let me explain. And if you want me to upload a video about exactly how I upload YouTube shorts or how I upload my long form content to maximize the amount of reach that I get and maximize the amount of money that I make, please leave a comment below and tell me about that. And I will make sure that I do that next week. Now, back to uploading the thumbnail. So what you have to do when you're uploading your video from a mobile device, when you get to this screen right here now, you need to click on that thumbnail icon and that is going to allow you to choose a thumbnail anywhere throughout the video. So what does this mean? It means that when you go through the editing process or when you're actually shooting your content, you need to be taking into consideration what here is going to be a good thumbnail. Now I see a lot of creators do one of three things. Either one, they put a good thumbnail in the beginning. Secondly, they put a good thumbnail at the end. Or third, they try to do something in the middle of the video that they can easily do that will show a good thumbnail image. And there are a few things that work better than others. And again, this is something that I see so many small channels mess up and it's one of the worst things you could be doing right now because it's easier to grow on YouTube right now, especially YouTube shorts than ever before. If you wanna get more subscribers, you wanna get monetized, you just wanna get views in general, it's easier than it ever has been. It's even easier to get over 4,000 watch hours than it ever has been. When it comes to your thumbnail, you need to be focused on three things. One, showing off the ending of the video. Two, showing off the main point of the video. Or three, just making people curious. Making people say, hey, I need to click on this video because it's going to show me exactly what I want. Whatever it is, that thumbnail needs to be complementary to the title. It should not be repeating the same thing as a title. If you go and look at the best thumbnails across YouTube, they do not repeat word for word what's in the title. That would actually be a waste of a title and a waste of a thumbnail because the title is just there to describe what the video is about or to invoke curiosity. And that thumbnail is there to give a visual depiction of what that title is, which is exactly why those two things need to be complementary. They don't need to be the same exact thing. Now, if you want to get more subscribers guaranteed right now on YouTube, well then please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you.
The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm going to guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need a thousand subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use again to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers in the next 30 days, I will give you your money back zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please go to the link in the description below. Sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're going to get more subscribers or you're going to get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.